Welcome to the new part of Blink tutorial. In this part, we will be learning about a new method of quantifier. The name of the method is all. So we will be learning everything about the all operator. So let's start. We will be learning what is all operator. Then we will create multiple examples of all operator. Also, we will see how can we use this all method in both the syntaxes that is query syntax and the method syntax. And also one more thing is that we will also learn how to filter data with the help of all method. So this method is also used to filter out the data. All operator. So let's start. All operator is used to check whether all the elements of a data source satisfy a specified condition or not. So in the previous part, we have learned about the quantifier operators. And the main purpose of the quantifier was that we have a data source and then we have some condition. Later on, we will apply that condition on the data source and then we will see whether all the elements of that data source satisfy a condition or not. So in this scenario, as it is clear from the name of the method all, so it means all the elements of the data source should satisfy that, that condition. If all the elements are satisfying the condition then the return value will be true if any of them is not satisfying the condition then the return type will be false it returns a boolean value so let's understand with the example so suppose i have a list so suppose this is a list and the data source it has some elements so the type of element may be anything okay and then i have some condition so I just need to apply that condition on this data source and the meaning is the true will be output if all the elements of this data source are satisfying that particular condition. If any of them is not satisfying the condition then the output will be false and let's create a demo project and then we will see how to use all method. So here I am in my visual studio. Here I have a very basic console application and in this console application we will be using all method. For that first I need to create a class. So basically I am creating a data source and I have created a class. The name of the class is student. It has two properties name and the marks. And let's create some data source. Suppose from that class I have created this data source. It has three records. The first record is Kim. It has marks 90%. So suppose the idea is like it has some names and the total percentage for that particular student so i have three students and three students have their own percentage the first one has the 90 then the second one has 80 and the third one has 75 so we need to check whether all the students of this class have more than 70 percent marks so this is very easy using the all operator so let's start how to do this using the all operator so first we will go with the method syntax where query so first as you know we will write our data source the data source is students then dot all method okay so all method always need a condition let's go to the f12 to see the details of this method so you will see what is available in the all method all method does not have any kind of overload method okay it has only one method and it needs source also this is used for the i enumerable for the i queryable we also have one more method which is available under different assembly and then it has the source and then we need to find out the predicate it means the condition we have to specify the condition for the all method let's see how to write the condition for all method so suppose it is like your lambda expressions x do so basically x is a single student so to better understand let's write the student dot whenever you will press the dot you will get all the properties from this data source it has only two properties name and the marks now we need to check whether all the students have marks more than 70 percent so we will apply condition with marks so now we have the marks and then we will apply condition on this marks how we need it more than 70 percent you can see what is the return type of the query it is saying boolean it means all will always return 
whether true or false it is very simple to use and it is very fast because it just return true or false this does not return a large object it only returns true or false so if you need to check this kind of condition don't go with the where method and then apply to list method and just check whether the length of that list is greater than zero like that simply use all method it will give you better performance and this is the best way to use this kind of condition let's put a breakpoint here on the console read line and let, let me press f5 now so you can see the query is returning true because all the students of this data source have their marks more than 70 so which is true and that's why we are getting true as the output if i will make some changes let's suppose i'm writing here 80 so you can see that two of the students do not have marks more than 80 one has equal to 80 and the another one has 75 which is less than 80 only one student has more than 80 percent marks which is 90 so in this scenario the output should be false let me check you can see it clearly that the output is false so this is the very basic and simple use of the all method now if we need to apply this method on the query operator let's see how can we do that so you know how to write that from student in your data source select so you will see if i press all you will see we don't have any kind of method which says all okay so it means we can't use all method in the query operator if you really need to use this all method in your query syntax then you can use the mixed one so mixed one says first you can write your query in the query syntax and then using the brackets you can also use all the methods which are available for the method syntax let's say how can we do that select student then put it in a bracket and then at the last dot all so now in this scenario it will work like the method syntax x dot marks it should be greater than 70 there we go and now if i press f5 and let's see what is the output of this query you can see the query is returning true as the output so it means our condition is true now this is the basic example if we go in more details so let's create one more class and the name of the class is subject it has two properties uh, subject name Subject marks and we will use this class as a property for the student class okay and now let's get some data source for this property also so this is how our data looks like now so just let's see one more time what is the data so i have a class a student it has three properties now name marks and the subject and the subject is a type of list and it is a type of subject class and again that subject class has two properties subject name and the subject marks so this is how our data uh, we have a list of students and we have a object of a student it has some records like the name is the king this is the name of the student then it has the total percentage suppose 90 don't calculate based on the subject marks suppose it is the 90 percent and then again we have some all the details subject wise so suppose now uh, the subject is maths in the math it has 75 then the english it has 80 and then the art it has 86 like this we have some data source and now i need to fetch all those records who has more than 70 percent marks in all the subjects so this is the condition let's understand one more time i need to fetch all those records i'm not just checking the records i need to fetch all those records in which uh, in which the students have more than 70 percent in all the subjects 
so let's see how to write a query for this type of scenario where so suppose we are getting the students in uh, the data source students dot okay we have to use the link namespace using system dot link and then you will see that we will have the where object where then we will write the condition std the name of the variable may be anything so i'm writing std dot um, i'm going to apply the condition on the subject then the subject should be we will check whether all the numbers should be greater than 70 and then we will be selecting the records um, std symbol std and then to list at the so let's understand this query detail we have the data source then we are applying where condition because we need to fetch the records from this data source we are just not checking the condition we have to fetch the records and as an internal query also we have to verify whether our student has more than 70 percent in in all the subjects so we are conditioned that's why student then we check whether subject wise this student has 70 percent in all the subjects and ideally we should have only two students like this because only two students have more than 70 percent in all the marks in all the subjects so we have first one is kim and then the second one we have the john so you can see kim and john both have more than 70 percent in all the subjects the last student lee does not have, have more than 70 percent in Part, that's why it is not available as an output now to better understand how this query will work with the query syntax we will write a query syntax as well query syntax so you know how to write the query syntax from student in data source where std that means the current object dot subject dot all you will be checking whether all the subjects have marks more than 70% the subject marks should be greater than 70% and then we will be selecting what std the current object and then to execute this query we will be using toolist method that's this is how we use the toolist method now let me press f5 and see whether both the query are returning the same output or not so it is also returning two records the first one is the Kim, which is right, and the second one is which is John, which is also right. So this is how you can use your all method to check a condition for all the elements of the data source. Also, at the same time, you can also filter the data based on the. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button of the video. Thank you.